So I was doing, uh, we call it transfer children. Transfer children meant be children who were not legally adopted, but they were you know, de facto adoptions. There were lots of uh, transfer children among the Chinese at the time. Lots of children who were not staying with their parents, but had been given away, but no legal adoption. So these cases used to be registered as transferred children. Uh, de facto adoptions have been very widespread among the Chinese for a long, long time. In Hong Kong, they have transferred children. In Malaysia, they have transferred children. In Singapore, also, they have transferred children. So lots of Chinese families gave up their daughters, gave up their daughters. You know, now, no, it's different. Lots of them, we had large families, poor families, so they gave away the daughters quite easily. And there were, there were lots of families which adopted them, good families as well as not very good families. Lots of, like some of the women who were not in, 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 in profession, who were in professions like prostitution and so on, they used to adopt also these children to, so that they could you know, nurture them and more, and, and, and sort of uh, make them become, take over their professions later when they are old, old, you know. So we had transfer children where if we felt that the children were okay, the transfer was okay, we would register them under a particular um, section of the Children and Young Persons Act. If we found that, if we found that there was something a bit questionable about the transfer, we would register, uh, register them under a different section where we would be able to also supervise them up to the age of 18. So there were quite a number of adoptions of this nature where either the adoptive mother was a bit questionable or where we felt that you know the uh, uh, child was not in very good circumstances I was not getting the best of treatment and so on. No? We used to do foster care of children, children who were born and whose mothers were unable to look after them and you know, fathers were unable to look after them. So these children were placed in suitable foster homes. So actually the fostering scheme I think in a way began with the social welfare department. So that was one of the main things that we did. So a lot of, a lot of, quite a number of fostering cases, foster mothers were Indians. And they used to foster a lot of non-Indian children. 